Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Hell Out of Pocket. It's episode 34. Welcome to the podcast. You already know who it is. It's Rob Wicks, and I'm with... It's your baby mama's favorite, Marvin. And we're going to just jump right into it. I mean, if you could tell by the title, you already know what we're about to be talking about. You know what we're going to talk about, right? It's a sad we gonna get day. Jump, I mean, we're going to jump right into this, okay? Adam22. Man. Nickname Cuckold. Cuck Lord is crazy. Cuck Lord, bro. It's crazy. Now, if you guys don't know the situation, uh, basically, uh, Adam22 and his girl... Um, I think this girl is a she's an adult uh, actress. Actress. She's an adult actress. She stars in a lot of adult films. Um, and for the past seven years, Adam Twenty Two and her have been doing basically, you know, uh, adult plug relations. Talk. Yeah. Uh, plug talk, but you know, adult relations with other women. So basically, him and two other women. And now they were girlfriend and boyfriend for about seven years. And then I think what last month they got married. They yep. got married. And I think with that. In the vows, Adam Twenty Two was like, you know what, I love you until you know I pass. And she was like, yeah, I at least want to start um, sleeping with other men. That was her vow, and he let that happen. So we're gonna ask Marvin, uh, how do you how do you feel about that? I mean, would you let that happen? Absolutely not. I think you know right now, Adam. I mean, you know, from what Adam said, he said this is the best thing to happen for him in his relationship with his girl. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, I know this. It don't make sense. He's but, happy. Yeah. He said at first he felt a little jealous, but he said it's the best thing to happen for the relationship, which is just a wild thing to say out loud. But right now, this is kind of the downfall of Adam. You know what I mean? He's lost his no jumper cast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He was replaced him with a bunch of fucking one offs. I mean, and that's no disrespect to some of the people that are still there, like Almighty Suspect and Euphemia Yuri and all those guys. But. I mean, you got people up there that are just goofballs, in my opinion. I don't want to watch them at all. I don't want to hear nothing they got to say. So you got, you got your brain that's failing. Yep. And then your adult film company is thriving, and you marry your, your, your the mother of your child, and then you like, oh, yeah, no, you can go get BBC'd out by another man. That's that's a weird. That's wild. Yeah. We, Brett's that's wild. Spinning, Brett is spinning out of control right now, bro. Bro, before we go any further, um, there is a there is a reaction from his wife, right? Uh, from the day like, I guess she she filmed. I know on Twitter, Adam Twenty Two was posting like you know wed wedding photos and oh my god, like he's so happy to be uh, married. And this is what um, this is what his wife posted. Uh, Jeremy, can you bring that up? Hey guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? <laughs> no, it's finally happening. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know you were going to do that. That's <laughs> wild, bro. You saw how the man walked in the room. You know what's crazy? Adam-22 said that this is his friend. They said they were friends. I think that's Jason Love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, we're we're friends. We're cool. How he walked in the room and how she was happy. Like, he's saying, I'm happy that I'm married. And she's like, it's finally happening. A woman that says it's finally happening, she has been waiting and dreaming about this, this, this nice chocolate six seven foot black man to be inside of her intestines smiling about it are you serious i'm not gonna lie i would feel hella uneasy gang like nah the the things that are wrong with this whole formula is you, you married her yeah and you put a baby in her crazy those two things can't happen like, well okay look, look if, they, if, if adam 22 because look bro they're making millions of dollars yeah right fucking each other though so if he would have just kept it like that, okay, I made this my I made this woman the mother of my kid. There's nothing wrong with that. Because her business is literally you. Like I am her her like we are each other's business and then we add another woman. I mean, what man fact is saying no to that? Not only am I sleeping with my wife, the the one that I trust and I love to death, but I'm I'm sleeping with other women, you know fact. what I mean? And I'm making money off sleeping with other women and my woman. That is perfect. Right, and that's why I like the podcast when Crit Mac was on the uh, the um, No episode, Jumper, yeah, because everybody else is telling Adam Twenty Two lies and like, simp shit. The, the yes, oh, man, it's okay. The, the yes man shit. Yeah, you're oh, a man for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the no. other dude they were listening to when Crit Mac was on there, there was a dude on there saying like, oh, "I'm in an open relationship too," and like he's bisexual and all that. Nothing wrong with bisexual, but <laughs> Adam Twenty Two is taking advice from a man with blue, blue, blue hair. 
Oh, that's a that's me. Hell no. Nah. Like, bro, come on now. Hell no. Nah. And he said the only time I get jealous is if like my wife and me plan something and then she says no and goes with the other man. Bro, if you are in a look, I I don't know about other people's relationships and I really don't want to like judge you guys, but I just know if I am married to a woman, there is no way that she is sleeping with another man. Fact. And a lot of people could be like, oh, that's because you're insecure, blah, blah. No, there's just something that happens when your woman that you choose to marry sleeps with another woman. If we stay together, just know that that relationship doesn't mean anything to me. Now our relationship is pure business, and just know we're not sleeping in the same bed. I don't really love you anymore. I don't look at you the same anymore. It's just weird. Yeah, I just think, like, we are... What we necessarily, eat. Yeah, we are necessarily animals. And, you know, they pair off. And that bond is, you know what I mean, forever. And I know some people don't um, pair, you know, sex with everything, like a soulmate and shit like that. So I get it. But at the same time, like, I'm not marrying you and putting a baby inside of you. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I know you're a sex worker, so go have sex with other, like, especially if we've already made our money. Having sex with each other and like, other women, bro. It wasn't for money too. They don't that's, need more that's money. What I'm she just wanted to get off. That's and th- that's that's an issue for me. If I if I no longer do it for you, all right, go ahead. You mm-hmm. just go. Like you can leave this relationship and go on about your life. And I just think that shit is wild. Like for her to be like finally, like obviously, you know what I mean. She's happy, and I guess if that's what you're striving for. I, little baby, if you right. if that's what makes you happy, bitch, you're not gonna be happy over here. You gonna and be miserable, bro. He trying to talk himself up like like it's good he like oh no you know what i mean like i don't want to slow down her career so you let her go sleep with another man all right cool then like what i like was um whack right whack i I didn't watch any of this but tell me but whack was like basically like you let her like have sex with another man like you don't think that she gonna enjoy it at all he like nah that's purely business all the faces and moans that she's making in that video it's all fake it's all business. I know to get my wife off. Huh. <laughs> you know what's crazy? The guy in the video, he's not trying to get your wife off. He's trying to plow, destroy, build, destroy. If I'm having sex with another person's wife, you think I care if she gets off? No. It's about getting mine oh and heaven. dipping out. Oh God, drop off dick so all the dick. faces she's making, those are real faces, dog. You're going against a python. No homo. <laughs> But, like, Strong what you've bull. been doing for seven <laughs> years, this man is going to do that and more in a couple hours. Yeah. It's over for you. Now all the faces she's giving you are fake. Factoid. He's, and just, then he's like, oh, yeah, we've been home sleeping with each other and cuddling. Yeah, because she feels bad for you, bro. Sorry. Oh, God. I heaven. feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, and ain't nobody fucking my wife. It ain't happening. <laughs> oh, she'd have to go. I ain't gonna lie, like there's no. I, well, you couldn't. You guys make money together. No, I guarantee. Not no more. I guarantee their life, but I guarantee their lives are like intertwined. Intertwined so deep that it's t- purely business now. now like, it's purely business. We live in the same house, but or maybe I'll buy you a different house, or you buy yourself a house. We're gonna stay legally married because I know some people do it. Stay legally married, but live separate because I'm not dealing with that. No, and I get it. Like I, it's, I think that right there is like uh, it's like betting it all on one number. At the fucking black chat table, just one number, not just black or red, just one number. Nah, like he, he betted it all on black, all on black, and hoping this shit hit. And it hit. And you know what I mean? And it definitely, <laughs> it definitely hit. Definitely, <laughs> it hit for her. Just hit for you, nigga. It just, you know what I mean? And then you have this conversation with other men. You know what I mean? And then you got your yes men who are like, "Oh no, you know that's cool." And then you got the the, the niggas like, "Nigga, that's kind of strange." That's so yeah. That's bro. You don't let any man ever have sex with your woman, like. I would only do that if I didn't care about her. And I know he cares about her. But it's like, if I look at it from a business standpoint, did he do that so people can talk about him? Because that's the first thing that he said came to his mind. Oh, I didn't want her to really do it because I was being selfish because I knew everyone would talk about me. Bro, what about just manhood? Like, yo, like that just doesn't happen. I think I think manhood, the complexity of it is going out the window. They're like, well, what is manhood? And then, you know what I mean? The basic shit, like manhood, taking care of your family, taking care of your loved ones, you know what I mean? Standing up for your loved ones, X, Y, and Z. I think that shit's starting to go out the window because they don't want to define it, you know what I mean? Because of the gender norms and all that Bro, dumb shit. But I don't know, but like... that's n- That should never come off the table. Like, oh, you know, no, it's okay. She can go sleep with other people on camera. Like, I can understand open relationships inside your marriage and all he that shit. He said they're not in a real relationship. That's what I'm saying. But could you imagine an open relationship inside of your marriage... This shit's not on camera. Private. All right, cool. Private. Yeah. Cool. On There's camera. plenty of people in the on the planet who do that. 
right? You got motherfuckers, not you got influencers having sex on camera with other people who are not their loved ones. Yeah, that's crazy. And then he was saying like, oh, her fans are going to love it because like everyone, even the industry was like, we want to see her sleep with another man. And I would honestly talk to her management or whoever the hell is selling her Stop that. Stop saying that. And yeah. Why? You know how much money we make together? Like, what is what is what is a career? You know, I don't, like you're trying to stop her career doesn't make sense because to me, honestly, I'm just being a hundred percent honest. There are better adult actresses that look better and look way much more to do stuff with than her. To me, honestly, she looks like an average woman. Well, you know, the plug is attractive. It's just she's attractive. But when I when when I look when you when you consume content like that, or me personally. I like my imagination to take, take, you know, take over. I'm, I'm trying to watch something that I couldn't smash. Mm-hmm. I, th- she looks like an average woman that you can just smash out here. An average woman that can get fake tits or whatever, and you can just smash her. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, like, wh- what? I feel like Adam Twenty Two pushed her career up already. Them being all together, OnlyFans and all that. That's how she stayed relevant. Now, just because she went on black, now I guarantee everyone's going to watch this video, but that's not going to, for me, I don't feel like that's going to lead more into like, oh, now everyone's like. She's going to be the top. Yeah, she's not going to be a top. She's not. She risked everything to gain Bro, he little. He got boosted. That dude got boosted. Jason Love? He's the one that had I mean, I relations Jason... with Adam 22's wife. It boosted him. Did not boost. It made her look like a hoe and a bad wife and a bad mother. It made him less. Minimal for Jason Love, though. No, Minimal. Way high. Nah. Everyone's going to be like, "Oh my god!" Like that's Why? the dude. No, because you got to understand, like he's popular she, already. She doesn't rank higher than Angela White or, uh, yeah, or but it's Alexis who she Texas. Is, and with the controversy is why it's going to rise him up. Yeah, but that's, that's not only that's is more he satisfying like a, all these other women. He's fit. He's tall. All this other stuff, but he banged Adam Twenty Two White. But again, that's more of like a heat check, bro. That's not like it doesn't. That won't last forever. That's going to last for. No, I'm just saying it's gonna it's gonna boost him up. But like for like everyone talking, no one's talking bad on him. Fact, everyone he, like, he did his job, but I don't think and he did it great. I guarantee. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he gains as much as you think. I think he does gain more female, and I think definitely male uh, followers. Not on no homo shit, but like like real talk. Like bro, like you just had sex with another man's wife. Got away with it scot free. It's all fun and games. Blah, blah blah. You probably banged her. Didn't talk to her. And I say off camera they did anal, but, but whatever. Um, <laughs> bro, I'm just telling you, like they had sex more than once. They had to. Like there's not just on camera they did it once after camera. She was like, I'm trying to ride that python again before I go back to my lonely ass husband <laughs> who played <laughs> poker all day. Lonely <laughs> ass husband. But um, I think it does boost him a little bit. It makes her look worse though. It, it From makes, a female, if yeah. I'm a female, if I'm a female, right, and I see this chick. Making money with her husband, having relations with other women, fine. But then how it came out, how she posted it, that you now are sleeping with another man. I just feel like eh, as a woman, I'd be like, "That's you're, you're his wife now. You're not just some girl. You're his wife. You know what I mean? So No, yeah. And I just. And people defend oops. him like, oh, well, he was doing this for seven years with other women. And I try to tell you, like. That's when sex comes, or gender comes in. Men and women are 100% different, right? I, th- I feel like a man can have a threesome with his lady and another woman and be fine because he loves his girl. He, that's just play right there, right? But it's just something about a man have a relationship with a woman. A lot of women, that, that can, like, that can like memorize them and make them think different thoughts. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So. Adam twenty two is a bitch. Yeah, Adam twenty two down bad, and I, like I, I believe the same thing you're saying uh, inside of that concept of you know, it's men. We we are meant like again. We are just predated to our old nature. You know what I mean? We're supposed to fucking fertilize as many seeds as we're supposed to. You know what I mean? That's necessarily what we're supposed to do, right? Po- keep the population going. X Y and Z. It's now you know women. Getting their seed populated, or you know what I mean, fertilized by hundreds of men. That's a yeah, no thanks. You know what I mean, like yeah, it brings your stock down. I mean, look at history. There's been there's been kings and influential people throughout history that have had multiple concubines. women. Yeah, yeah, but had multiple women, and it makes them look uh, bigger, stronger. Women want them more. But name one female in history or anything that's been uh, promiscuous or slept with a lot of men who who who, who has been idolized. It mm. brings down your stock. Mm. Like if a king 
and a queen, and everyone found out the queen was just shagging everyone. They would look at her as a, a whore. Peasant. Yeah, like, what the hell? You're a queen. It's different for a king, though. It's yeah. different for a man because, like like you said, men have it's certain roles, and it sucks to say that. A lot of people will hear that and be like, oh, well, that's that's bad. That's misogynistic, and we should change that. That's just how it is. We didn't create the roles. You know? The roles were created before we even got here. And honestly, it's women's fault. It's not even men's fault. It's women's fault. We are put. We are born to be men, right? A woman likes that. So, well, certain women do, but I think most women like that. Like When a man is wanted by all females and that one female gets him, they feel even more empowered, like, I got this dude. But just think about a man that has nothing. No one wants him. No one knows him. Most women won't go for that guy. Fact. They're going to go for the guy who is everyone wants. And that's just, that's not our fault. We strive to have things for women. You got to think, most men do things in their life for women. We get the best job, the best car, the biggest houses, the swag for women. We can say we get it for ourselves, but we get it for women. Why? Because women put that that if you have this, then you can get me. So that's what men strive for. If you don't want men to have multiple women and be more, I guess, uh, calm, collective, and all this stuff, then get nice guys. That's what you should do. Oh, nice guys shouldn't finish last. If they finish first, all the dudes will try to be nice, but they don't. You guys want dickheads? So that's what we give you. A dick Very in your sad. head. Yeah, dead homies. I'm speaking fucking facts, nigga. Give me a drink. Uh, since we're talking about cucking, would you do some cucking? Would you do any uh, cucking? Yeah, I would, like, you I know would what I mean? Kill bare backing somebody, wife, wife. Oh, would I? I would never watch my wife get. No, but would you do the cucking? Would uh, you... wait. Is he in the room? Most of these niggas be in the room. Does bro. he know? Yeah. Is he's he the, paying? He's the one to set it up. Is he paying me? I'm assuming so. Okay. Would you do, you do the cucking? Nigga sitting in the corner. Paid me? Yeah. I don't have to pay him. I'm not paying him no attention. But if they're, if someone hit me up was like, yo, I got 20 grand if you just, you know, beat my wife down. I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just good. in the corner. Just like not making a sound. Got Just in the corner in the dark. Oh, he going to be crying. He uh, going to be crying. Hey, I'm Like I said, brother, this is a wor- weird part of society. That actually exists. I mean, I can't believe you said you would do it. I, I don't think I could do it. Personally, that would be the easiest thing to do. Now, if you talk about your grandma, you feel me? I might be able to knock down your grandma. You dig what I'm saying? You pay me to do anyone <laughs> in your family. I got you. As long as they're of age, I got it. I got you. Uh, Twenty yeah. grand though. <laughs> yeah, being being, you know, don't I mean? contact me out there. We are not friends. We are not friends. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up, man? No, being nah, a part man. of a cuckold is crazy. I don't know how niggas do it. I don't know how females get men to agree to do it. This is. Some weird shit. You feel me? That's some weird, weird shit. Because I think they're not they're not confident in themselves to, to put their foot down and say no. There's I think in every relationship there needs to be a fine line. When you get in a relationship, you you should have things that you talk about and be like, Okay, look, you can do whatever you want except this. Right? And I think for a man there's three things you don't mess with. You don't mess with their women, you don't mess with their money, you don't mess with their kids. Adam 22 had all three messed up. His woman got smashed. His kids are going to definitely be traumatized by this when they get older. Um, so you mess with his kids and his money. I mean, her doing that scene doesn't just go to her because I don't. The only thing he got out of it was some some clicks. Yeah, some clicks and that's money. This is, that's, and that's and that's the problem. Look at his comment section though. Everyone's like just like cuckold Adam. Cuck, yeah, like cuckold twenty two. If that's the attention and all oh, oh, bad attention to good attention, if you want that, then it's cool. But like, think about where he's come from, from where he was with no jumper to where he is now. That's it's you look good. like a goofball. In, in my opinion, not good. I don't like the new, new no jumper shit. That shit kind of lame. And now you're doing this. You look like for, a, if, you did this for Gilligan. He did this for attention. Now I don't attention, think, I don't clout, think, money, all that shit. And I don't think Relevancy. he thought it through because now. You have to wake up next to that whooping every day. And when this video comes out, people are going to be flooding his DMs with clips and memes and everything, bro. This is what you have to wake up to every single day. And I don't think their marriage is going to work because, like, how long can you do that? How long until you get in an argument and she throws it in your face? Or you throw it in her face like, bro, I really didn't want you to do that. But because it sounded like she was consistent about it. Even though he says, well, she she gave me so many outs. But, bro, the way she said it, it's finally happening. How many times did she ask you to sleep Ooh, with another man? Why is this even a conversation we're having? Yeah, why are you talking to me about this? Bitch, get out. <laughs> That's how you feel. Get and out. And then, like you said, the argument can be like, or people that the arguments can be like, well, he was sleeping with other women. But, okay. It didn't seem like she had a problem with that at all, you know? And it's not like this just came up. They've been doing this the entire time. Mm. And... Adam said something like, uh, like back in the day, I guess she had, they had a threesome with another man and it 
they were like, he was like, nah, I ain't doing this. So he drew that line. The first time that her and him did anything with another woman, she should have drew that line. That line wasn't drawn, so they kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. So it's fine. After a minute, it's fine. But if he's, if, if your dude says, I don't want you to sleep with another man, don't keep asking me. Because that just lets me know you're not down with it, and I probably shouldn't have put a baby in you. Fendi fact. And we're not doing that, gang. I mean, if y'all know of any uh, cuckold uh, groups that need, you know I mean, two BBCs to handle y'all wives or whoever y'all need handled, you know what I mean? Hit us up, you know what I mean? Our rate is reasonable, you know what I mean? We can take care of y'all. Take care of y'all, y'all loved ones if you need it, gang. My mine, mine is 5,000 an hour, and I go for at least five hours. <laughs> we finna get rich off y'all, gang. We finna be piping shit down. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. On God in heaven. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, so look, to all the people out there that are in, like, healthy relationships, um, just continue doing that. Like, don't, that's why I tell people, like, in marriage, like, don't pay attention to these celebrities or these influences because they're just going to lead you down a, a really bad path. You know what I mean? Um, if you do, or if you're, if you're into that, watching your wife get, you know, mangled up, I would just say keep that in your mangled pipe. up. Like, <laughs> bro. Like, just keep that in your, pri- your private business. Like, don't, I would never allow, like, my, my wife, if I was into that, to go on camera because now it shames not only you, but it shames your wife. I guarantee she's getting crazy messages. When your kid gets older, children are devils these days. Watch. Watch. They go be, be like, this your mom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my uncle. Not your fucking mom, Bro, This your mom right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. That's crazy. Wild. Never, uh, you feel me, on that note, too, because we're getting up out of here, but on that note, don't ever, you feel me, maneuver your morals for money, clicks, none of that shit. Make sure your morals stay intact, and you feel me, you'll be a decent person. I don't know why motherfuckers is playing with their morals for some money. That's not cool, you feel me? In words of Milk's Heaven Fell, you acting like a real Gilligan. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, Custer. Custer, you feel me? It's uh, it's hell out of pocket. You dig what I'm saying? It's your baby mama's favorite. And it's Rob Wicks, and you know what I'm saying. We gonna on on this podcast. We keep it real, and like I said, man, just keep. Don't let you. Just don't be no bitch. You feel me? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you like getting your your wife's back blown out. If not, you know, comment down too. You know, I want I want no experiences, and then make sure you like it. Uh, helps the algorithm out. You know, we we out here just trying to entertain y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Get this shit up. Like this. Like this uh video to like 50 likes, bro. And we gonna review the uh the blacked tape, bro. We are gonna put it out on God in heaven. Yeah, you you guys get this about 50 100 likes, and we will watch it and review it for y'all, gang. Lot, all for all for y'all. We don't care about strikes or nothing. Yeah, we good. We showing everything. We show big. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she gonna be getting her, her coochie and butthole busted open. We gonna show that shit. Oh, God. And we gone.